Hello, welcome and welcome back. Tomorrow we have the group of death matches happening, Portugal taking on France and Hungary taking on Germany and a lot of you guys wanted to know exactly how Portugal can still go through to the uh, top 16 uh, round. We are going to see all the possibilities and we are going to see about France, uh, what they need to stay on top. We are going to see about Germany's possibilities, Portugal's possibilities and Hungary's possibilities. Because we can't rule out Hungary because yesterday we saw how Denmark from being in the bottom of the group, they finished second. So anything can happen in football. So that's the beauty of the game, right? So let's get straight into it. So we have to first see uh, which team needs what, okay? So, so we're going to start with France because they are now topping the charge. So this is how the group stands right now. Fr France leading the group with four points, Germany in three points. Portugal with three points and Hungary with one point. Okay, so now France will be through and will finish first if they win. It's 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 obvious. So look at this. If France win, that also means that Portugal are going to lose. That's obvious, right? So if France win, they go to seven points, right? So instead of four, they get seven points, which means they definitely are going to finish in first place, right? If they win. Now, the second possibility for France is if they draw and Germany do not beat Hungary, they'll still finish first. So if they draw, what happens? France will get one point. So they go to five points, right? And then Portugal will get one point because they're playing with Portugal, which means Portugal will also get one point. So they will go to four points, right? Germany should not beat Hungary. Right. So if Germany doesn't beat Hungary, then what would be the score, which means it will be a draw. So Germany would be at four points and Hungary would be at two points. Now, the position is again, France will finish first. Right. Now, next possibility, if France lose and Hungary win, right, if France lose, for example, Portugal wins. Okay. If France lose, then they would still hold the four points. Portugal will win, obviously, that's what it means, right? If France lose, it means Portugal wins. So Portugal will go to seven points. Now, if Hungary win, if it says if France lose and Hungary win. So if Hungary wins, which means Hungary will go to four points and Germany will lose, which means they'll be at three points. Now, second place will be decided on overall goal difference, which means now we have first place Portugal, we'll have second place France and Hungary, right? So between these two, goal difference will actually choose who finishes second. And I think for that, France will definitely have the upper hand, but uh, provided Hungary doesn't beat Germany by a large margin. So this is the possibilities for France. I hope you're clear with this. And if you guys don't know what goal difference is, of course, you should be knowing, but I'm just saying goal for minus goal against is what goal difference is. Goal for is how many goals you scored uh, and goal against is how many goals you have uh, conceded. Goal uh, for minus goal against would be the goal difference, right? All right. So now let's move on to uh, the second team, which is uh, Germany. So what does Germany need in order to qualify? Okay. So now let's go through one by one, uh, one by one uh, possibility. Germany will go through if they avoid defeat. Simple, as simple as that. If they avoid defeat, what will happen? If they avoid defeat, which means they're going to draw, right? They're going to draw. Goalless draw, one all, whatever it is. They're going to avoid defeat, which means they're going to get one point, which will put them at four points, right? And then Hungary will be at two points, right? So now, with this score, they would actually be through. Even if Portugal wins France, if they avoid defeat, Germany can get through this round. Okay. Now, second possibility, they will finish first, right? If Germany has to finish first, what, what would they have to do? They will have to win and France should not, which means Germany would get seven points if they win. Hungary will be at one point again because they'll, they'll be losing against Germany and France does not win, right? Which means France would stay at four and Portugal would go to seven, right? This would actually put Germany in top of the group. So now the next possibility, Germany can finish in third place. If Germany draw against Hungary, okay, and France lose, what would happen? If Germany draw, they'd be at four points, Hungary would be at two points, right? And France lose, which means Portugal would win. They'll go to seven points and France would still be at four points, right? Now, Portugal would take the first place. 
Now the second place would go to France because of a better goal difference. And then third would be Germany. Right? So this would be the new ranking. If they draw against Hungary and France lose. And Germany would finish third if both Germany and Portugal lose. Which means it would look something like this. If Germany lose, they'd still be at three points. Now Hungary would go on to four points. Right? And Portugal also lose. Portugal will be at three points. France would be at seven points, right? Okay, so now we come to Portugal, the most important, the most awaited. Portugal will go through if they avoid defeat. It's as simple as that. There's more technical details, but we'll see that in the last slide. But Portugal will go through if they avoid a defeat. What would be the rankings then if they avoid a defeat, which means it's a draw. So they'll get one point, which means Portugal will be at four and France would be at five, right? And if Germany wins it, let's say they go to 7 and then Hungary would be at 1, right? So this would be how uh, uh, the, the rankings would be. Now, Portugal would be finishing 3rd, right? But how could they still be going through? Because their goal difference is very good and they would definitely be placed among the 4 best 3rd place teams. Even if they avoid any defeat, just keep it as a goalless draw, they'll still go through. What should Portugal do to finish 1st? They have to win and Germany should not. Which means if Portugal wins, they'll go to seven points. France will be at four points. Germany should not win, which means Germany would be at three points and Hungary would be at four points. Now that would put Portugal on number one ranking, right? So Germany should not win and Portugal should win. There is another possibility. Portugal can finish fourth in this group, which means they'll be knocked out of this championship. How is that? Portugal will finish fourth if they lose and Germany also lose. Now what would happen? If they lose, Portugal lose, they'll still be at three points, right? All right. So France would go to seven points. And Germany also loses, which means Germany will still be at three and Hungary would be at four. So, which means France, Hungary, Germany, Portugal. So, if Portugal loses and Germany also loses, then Portugal would be knocked out of this championship. But there's more, there's more technicality to this Portugal getting through. We'll get to that in the last slide. But now we'll see about Hungary because we already saw what Denmark did in the match against Russia. They thrashed them 4-1 and they, they, were, they were nowhere in the group and then they finished second. So Hungary, we just can't take them off, right? So what is Hungary's chances to qualify? Hungary will go through if they win. Okay, simple. So Hungary will go through, which means Hungary will go to four points, which means Germany would have lost that game. They'll still be at three points. So four points is more than enough to qualify for Hungary, right? Now, if they win and France lose, second place will be decided on overall goal difference, which means if they win and France lose, let's look at the situation. If they win, which means they are at four points and France lose, they are still at four points, okay? which means Portugal would have won. Portugal would have gone to seven points. Germany would still be at three points because they've, won, uh, they've lost against Hungary. Now, if this is the situation, then Portugal will be at first. Now, there'd be a tie between France and Hungary. Now, that would be, de that would be selected by the goal difference. Hungary would be knocked out of this competition if they lose this match against Germany. Simple. But how can they finish third and then get a spot to maybe qualify as the four best third place teams. Now, what they have to do is they have to win and the other game is drawn, which means they have to win, which, which, which will put them at four points, right? Now, Germany would be at three points. The other game should be a draw, which means Portugal would be at four, France would be at five, right? So this puts them in third spot France in first spot, Germany in last spot, Portugal in second spot. There are some complications to Portugal qualification. Let's look at that. If Portugal lose to France, can they qualify still? Yes, they can qualify. In case Portugal lose to France, they will finish third in the group. Okay, But since they already have a better goal difference than Finland and Ukraine, 
the other third place teams in group b and group c remember now comparing with them portugal have a better goal difference so even if they lose to france they still would qualify but there's a big but here if portugal lose to france by a two goal margin for example it is 2-0 to france or 4-2 to france right it's a two goal margin still safe they must ensure they don't lose to france by more than two goal margin right in such a case they will definitely qualify to the round of 16 regardless of the result of matches in group d and group e which are happening tonight by the time this video is out maybe the results would have been out but regardless of the results of matches in group d and group e portugal would still qualify because they would come in the four top third place teams in all groups but again a but if portugal lose to france by a three goal margin or more maybe france thrash 3-0 4-0 5-0 who knows then still they have a chance but it depends on the results from matches that happen in group d and group e which are happening right now by the time this video is released might be we would have the results if portugal lose to france by three goal margin or more then it's going to be really tough because then portugal's fate would depend on the results from group d and group e so that is it guys uh, these are the possibilities of how portugal can qualify for the round of 16 a lot of you guys had asked me to do this if this video is informative and useful do share it with your ronaldo fan or a portugal fan or anybody who's supporting portugal in this euro 2020 and give this video a like because it helps in the algorithm and helps the channel grow and here's a quick quiz session for you guys we do a quiz session in every video and here's one for you if france win and germany lose who would top the group of death it's simple comment your answers below and the first person to comment the right answer would get a shout out on my next video i'll be meeting you guys with my roundup of the matches that happened tonight until then signing off pradeep